What's up YouTube, how are you all doing? I hope you enjoyed the video, welcome to episode 2, let's get on with it. Okay, this is episode two. We're now a week into the cut. We've actually dropped 9% body fat. Our body, our body weight's come down a little bit more as well. Um, and we've got pulled this morning. So I'm just gonna take you along for this workout. We'll get home, I'm actually gonna be going for a little food shop so you can kind of get to see some of the things I get to eat on a daily basis on this cut. So enjoy the video. What are you saying? Okay, so pull day all done. Um, we're now gonna go, there's Audi just upstairs. I'm just gonna do my food shop here and then I'll take you home and sort of discuss my choices for what I've bought. My new sort of, not my new meal plan because I don't follow meal plans, but my new sort of structure with my food, kind of what I'm gonna be doing, what I'm sort of changing up in doing. Um, and yeah, so I'll catch you I'll see you in the Aldi in three, two, one, go. Okay, so just back from Aldi, we've just done our food shop. Um, I have actually been really bad with food at the moment. I haven't really done a food shop, I've kind of just been winging it, but it's usually all right. So um, I just thought I'll take you through my food shop. As I went through my food shop when I was moving into my bulk and you guys kind of liked it. So I thought, why not do again a little video of me going through my sort of the changes that I'm just going to be making in my diet, um, starting off with the yogurt, I've actually copped up. So I've got fat-free yogurt, but I've actually been having full-fat yogurt at the moment, um, just because I'm not on that stupidly low calories, so it doesn't matter. And I just find it tastes a little bit nicer, as it's not so thin and it's a bit thicker in your yogurt. In terms of like a switch up in carbs, obviously I used to, I was having like pasta mainly. Um, but I've now switched into rice. To be honest, it's so easy as well just having a microwavable rice that you just throw in the oven, throw in the oven, throw in the microwave and stuff. Like, it's so simple. We've got standard rolled oats. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of these Corrigan, Cov, Cava, Cavang, Cavangas oats. Yeah, I just think they taste really nice and they, they seem to go quite well when you mix them up. Um, I've also bought these like white sandwich thins. I haven't actually had these before. I just fancied, sometimes I find in the morning if I, I want some carbs or something um, and I haven't necessarily got something with my breakfast, I'll end up having 
like oats and it's it's kind of just a bit awkward having to make two breakfasts instead of just like combining the pair um which is bringing us on to oh my god news alert so obviously yeah and i've been eating steak and eggs since records began it's been an absolute full-on staple of mine i've decided yes listen I've decided to switch up my breakfast. I'm no longer having steak. Yeah. So, okay, main reason for this is I just feel like I should maybe start having a little bit less red meat um, as on like a day that I'll also have mince in the evening. Um, it can then, it is just a lot of red meat to try and digest, which is the high sort of fat content as well. I just, I just thought, screw it, I'll just have a little bit of a switch up. I'll be able to then have less calories because my breakfast obviously is steaks so pretty of hefty calories. So I've decided to switch up for tuna. So like literally just having one of one can, which is about 120 calories. Uh, in terms of protein in one can, you got 30 grams of protein. So it's still a pretty good hit of protein. It's nothing, obviously steak was about 60. Sticking with sort of zero sort of carb breakfast as I just find I function a bit better and I just prefer that to be my first meal unless as today I'm training. So like this morning, I'll have that meal probably later on in the afternoon when I'm a bit hungry. Whereas this morning, I'll probably have something like um, some protein just because I need those carbohydrates after training. And then in terms of like other sort of protein sources, I've got these like cooked chicken breasts. So it's literally just like sort of sandwich filler things, but it's just to pair with salads. I think that's my favorite thing about moving into best on your calories. Uh, what I love most is I just have salads all the time. Um, previously, obviously, when I'm trying to eat loads of food, it's all about small volume for high calories, and this is complete opposite. So you're thinking about lots of volume in low calories, and that's why I absolutely love salad. I just find after a sa you just feel amazing after a big, big bug bowl of salad. So yeah, looking forward to smashing some salads. Got some cucumber, um, cherry tomatoes as well to pair with them. Um, in terms of other veg, we've got broccoli, peppers that I'll do with then my like non-cooked chicken breast that I'll just like. So what I kind of do for the week now, I don't really prep anymore just because I don't really need to. Um, especially with the rice and stuff, it's very easy. But what I will do is cook up my, when I go to have my first meal of chicken, I'll just cook the whole thing up with all my veg and then I'll just tub it put it in a big tub of air, and then just scoop out what I need when I need it. And then we've got a couple of things of bananas, bag of coffee, essentials. I've switched out the equipment of Frosties from Aldi for corn flakes, just because they're much better in sugar, much lower in calories. It's a lot easier to fit into your macros. Um, I'm having a lot more, I've actually got some milk already in the fridge, that's why I haven't bought any of that. Drop down from whole milk now to semi-skimmed. Um, but yeah, so it's just lots of vitamins, lots of minerals, uh, which is obviously very important. Um, but I'm just, I'm just looking forward to, I, uh, what's really interesting is I'm finding, let's go. What I'm finding at the moment is that I'm actually functioning so much better now. I'm being strict on my calories. So I found previously, oh my God. Hello. I felt that in the past, um, obviously, well, when I'm, when you're on such high calories, I just found that I was feeling really sluggish. Actually, getting up in the mornings was a little bit harder, whereas just making that small difference in calories just makes a massive, massive change to the way the way your body functions and works. Um, as I said to you, I'm not looking to lose any strength whatsoever in the gym. It's all going to be focused on performance during this sort of lean lifestyle series um, and that's exactly what I'm doing I don't feel like my strength's losing at all if anything I'm, I'm actually progressing in all my lifts just because I'm not setting myself up to failure I'm not having that mindset of I'm going into a deficit I need to start reducing my uh, increasing my reps and dropping the weight it's all about a mindset it's all about not being too much into a deficit then there's no point I mean Unless you're planning on stepping on stage and you've got that big, big goal in mind, okay, fair enough, yes, you're gonna, your performance in the gym is gonna suffer. But if you're, if you're just, 
in it for the love of love of just testing yourself the love of you can't you can't test yourself if you're not eating enough food uh, i haven't really got much more to say on that sort of topic and i think my memory card is just about to run out so i will say bye to you now and then catch you in a gif fee backhand So as I said before, eating carbs around your training. In terms of ratios, it's always hard to get your ratio right on your oats. Something I go for is 60 G of OTs with 200 mils of mishk. So a little trick Sarah taught me as well is not to put your protein in yet. What? 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 So. In the microwave she goes. One minute 30. Okay, now we wait. A little trick Sarah taught me to, is your, to add your protein after your, you've cooked your oats. Got to be patient with your oats, so don't just stick it on for two minutes and leave it. I do about one minute, one minute twenty. Uh, it's just one full loop, and then it, you man it. So then every sort of twenty seconds, you take it out, you scoop it, chuck it back in. Twenty seconds, scoop it. If you take care of your oats, your oats will take care of you. Now we add the protein. Lala Shoti, 30 G's of banana bulk powders, bloody brilliant. And that, my friends, done. Oh no, I didn't do the transition. Oh, sorry team. Woo! Right, so I'm gonna eat this up and then I haven't really got much more to show you for today. It's a fairly uneventful day. I've just got some work to do. I've had my PT this morning, so it's literally just an afternoon of doing work. And then um, I'm off to Sarah's in the evening. So again, there's just not really much more to share with you guys. Um, I'm actually currently midway through the Kevin Hart and Joe Rogan podcast. If you haven't watched it, absolutely go ahead and just watch it on YouTube. It's about two and a half hours long and I've been watching over the last like three days but it is so funny um, and you'll take a lot from it because Kevin Hart is just an incredibly positive guy with just this amazing mindset so it's definitely worth the watch um, and just <laughs> just to cheer you up a little bit um, but apart from that I hope you enjoyed the video guys. I hope I've sort of given you some ideas for a food shop that you can do for yourself. Hit that like button if you're liking this new series. Hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel and you haven't already hit it. I'm actually, me and Sarah are off to Rome next week. So, another travel vlog coming your way. What? What? Catch you in the next one. I'll see you very, very soon. Alex, out.